Hi, this is Peter. Hi, this is Sandra and Buffy. And we are Medievalist.net. And we're coming to you live from London, England, from my flat in southwest London. Yeah. Um, so well, we're... you've been living here now six months. So. How do you like it? Uh, I really love it. It took a while to get used to. I think um, just like anybody moving to another country, mm. there's like an aspect of like homesickness and stuff. But um, I really love it now. It's a historical mecca for me. And um, I'm, I'm really enjoying myself. And I think you like it too. You, mm -hmm. Peter came to visit me for my birthday last week and mm -hmm. then decided to stay and do some nerding with me. What's been like, before I uh, came here, what's been like your favorite spot here in London? I'd say so far, I like the VNA. I'd say, mm -hmm. you know, I haven't been everywhere, but I, I have to say, like, the VNA is like. Amazing. I, I could spend days there and so I don't think I would get to see everything I wanted to see. Um, uh, for practical purposes, I like um, green space and walking the dog, but for historical <laughs> purposes, it's the VNA. Um, so, we're going to talk to you a little bit about what we've been doing since Peter's been visiting. Uh, first off, we went to the Tower of London. Yeah, um, it's the first. Uh, it's my first time I've been in England in about uh, thir uh, thirteen years, and uh, uh, first time I've had a chance to kind of explore the kind of uh, historical sites here around London. So, uh, one of the first places we went to was the Tower of London, uh, which was a wonderful uh, chance to kind of explore, uh, you know, one of the great castles of uh, the medieval Middle Ages. So. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I have to say that uh, I've been to the castle in late fall for a twilight tour with the human orders, um, and it was very enjoyable. And it was nice to uh, go inside the buildings this time because that tour is predominantly outdoors. And this tour, we 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 sort of did our own self-guided tour around various parts, and we just went in the White Tower and. Um, went in um, the Martin Tower and several other places just to kind of wander around and see what we like best. But uh, we've done a write up about that, and mm -hmm. we're gonna. Yeah, they'll be out on our site within the next uh, day or so. What was your favorite part of the Tower of London? Uh, to me, it was just kind of going through the uh, White Tower and just kind of going up floor by floor. Uh, the you know, and just kind of uh, seeing the kind of uh, exhibits they had within it, that was really quite uh, quite special. So. Yeah, I enjoyed the White Tower, and I um, really enjoyed the medieval palace where they showed where Edward had his chamber and yeah. stuff. It was really cool. Um, it's a great place if you have kids. Um, it is, yeah, it is very uh, family friendly. Um, a there's lot interactive um, portions to. Like kids can touch makeshift swords, yep. and there are act there are yeah. uh, actors in costume. You, you can, can put your it. head inside like a helmet uh, uh, and see what um, a knight saw. Uh, you you, know, you, they, they even have a few ravens working for them. So. Okay, the, and the raven tower ravens, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then the following day, we went to Westminster. Um, yeah. We'd like to say a huge thank you to Annie Corrali. Yeah, she who was toured. She was our kind of personal tour guide, and uh, thanks to everyone at the West, uh, Westminster Abbey. She is insanely knowledgeable about <laughs> medieval history. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we have, yeah, we, it was again, uh, it's, uh, you know, like, at both places there's huge crowds, and you can see, you know, you know, you can see why, like, everyone's so enamored with these places. They're, they're very beautiful. Um, unfortunately, you can't take a lot of pictures inside mm. Westminster. Uh, we did a lot of photography on the outside, mm. and there's uh, places in, mm. like, the cloister area where you're allowed to do photography, and mm. we did that. So as much as we could, we took, we took pictures. Um, I've posted them, we have an Instagram account now, Medievalists Net, um, where everywhere I go or we're going yeah. right now, I try and upload stuff to yeah. Instagram and make sure everybody sees all the beautiful objects and places we visit. I'll, I'll try and do uh, pictures of Kalamazoo. Yeah. The beauty of Kalamazoo. The beauty of, yeah. Anyhow, <laughs> moving right along. Um, what did you enjoy the most when we visited during the day? Because we went twice. We went for an Easter uh, Saturday service, and we went during the day. Uh, I think uh, my favorite part was uh, seeing the uh, tomb of Geoffrey Chaucer. 
I, I think that was a, a, a quite a nice, uh, which is in a place called Poets Corner, and uh, it, uh, it was just kind of a, like he's just set it aside against the wall, uh, and it, it just kind of brings back a lot of memories. So. I think for me, I really enjoyed walking around the tombs of the kings. I thought that was just incredible, and I also really loved um, Queen Elizabeth's um, the, the 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 area that she is in and her. Um, death mask um, coffin. It was incredible. It's supposedly her actual death mask was was used when they were engraving it. So I, I, th I thought that was amazing. And Mary Queen of Scots also had a very beautiful tomb. Um, and let's see what else. Yeah, I, I'd have to say where the you know where Edward the first and. You see all the, the tombs, and you can't really see Edward the Confessor, but you can kind of peek through and sort of... <laughs> not all, not cool. all parts are open to... Uh, it, it all depends on the day and the time and things like that. We were going on Easter weekend, which, uh, you know, obviously the, which obviously is a, a lot of um, a lot of events are going on, a lot of tourists are coming through, so... Uh, it's not probably the particularly best time to go, but... Uh, and then we got the chance of a lifetime when Annie invited us to an evening service. So we returned to Westminster Abbey um, for this Easter vigil and it was incredible. Um, you don't get chances like this, they're once in a lifetime opportunities and it was I just think one of the yeah. most beautiful things I've ever seen. Yeah, it was a beautiful. It was a beautiful service. Um, I enjoyed. Uh, there was a lot of a bit of a uh, theater to it at times. Uh, you, you get to see quite a lot. Um, we got to sit behind the choir. Uh, the choir there is world yeah. class. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful choir. Yeah, well, you you actually uh, for us we actually get to, to sit in 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 uh, spots that were um, very historic. I have to say. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the, and um, while you're sitting there and listening to the service, you can just ponder the fact that there are medieval kings and queens buried behind you, and it's just um, and and literary greats. So it's a very kind of humbling. Yeah, it was it was quite enjoyable. Uh, you know, I I, say. I you know it's yeah, I encourage people like if they, if they have a chance to to attend any kind of service in a, a, a medieval cathedral. Uh, I think this is a, a, a very interesting experience. It's an experience of a lifetime. I, I'd highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. If you get invited ever, just go. Cancel all your plans. <laughs> drop your day. It's worth, it's worth the effort. Um, and then, of course, today we went to the Victorian Albert um, Museum, or the v &A, as they call it here in London. What did you think? I've been a couple times. I really love it there. I want to know for a first time or newbie, what did you think? Uh, as, I, as I was telling you earlier, I, I really enjoyed it. I, I was surprised at, at the extent of the medieval collection. I had kind of gone in thinking that it was going to be more Victorian, uh, Georgian, uh, early modern England type of what we would see. Which there is a lot of that. Yes, I, there I, I is. I took a there ton of those the, pictures. Um, yeah. But I, I, was, I, I really enjoyed the kind of uh, exhibits they had. The uh, pieces of medieval artwork. Uh, it's just beautiful, again, and uh, it's it's fairly easy to walk through. Um, the uh, and fairly uh, uh, and, and it wasn't it wasn't particularly crowded. I'd have to say either. No. That was the, uh, um, I think it's because it's a huge space. So. I this is the third time I've been to the VNA, and it took me a little while because the first time I was sort of rushed through. I had to go somewhere else so I really didn't get to see as much as I wanted to. The second time I went there, um, there was some kind of a dance MasterCard thing going on with blasting music and they had shut down um, the parts of the V&A that I wanted to visit so I really didn't get to see much there. But um, today we got to spend a fair chunk of time going through um, areas, the medieval, the renaissance, the Italian renaissance, um, early modern England, uh, we also got to see, um, I got to try on, in a really half-assed way, um, a uh, 
Well, well, I tried on like a a court the a corset yeah. dress thing. You'll see. We'll upload we'll, it. To we'll YouTube. have that video up uh, as well fairly soon. <laughs> it so. was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, it was it was really good. I, I enjoyed it. What what was your favorite piece there? Uh, actually, it was these uh, Victorian uh, kind of. Uh, Castings. Castings, yes. You know, of all these kind of, um, you know, uh, historical uh, monuments and things like that, from Trajan's Column to uh, many of the uh, tombs that are actually in Westminster Abbey, uh, just and many other kind of things, these, these kind of casts. Um, it almost looks like uh, a big uh, toy pile there. Right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, I really enjoy, I, I don't know if I have a favorite section. I, I do love uh, a lot of the... Um, the Italian Renaissance stuff. I love that they have Cesare Borgia's uh, Borgia's um, scabbard. Um, I love just some of the. They have like beautiful tiles and tapestries. I love the clothing. They have some amazing um, 16th century pieces of English clothing that I think are incredible and. Um, you know, there's some really amazing medieval uh, reliquaries um, that I, I enjoy. Like, there's so much, I really couldn't pinpoint one specific item. But like I said, that's a place that I feel you need several visits to really um, see everything. I, it can be daunting. There's so much to do and so much to see, and at the end of it, your feet are killing you, but it was well worth the walk. So... Now, Peter's going to say a little bit more about what he's doing this week before he flies back home to Toronto. Yeah, um, there's still a few more uh, things for me to do. Um, I will be visiting the British Library and British Museum in the next couple of days. Uh, we've uh, scheduled uh, video interviews with uh, some, some of the people there, and so that you'll be seeing uh, hopefully sometime in early May or... Uh, and as well, we've also already uh, shot another video with uh, the Museum of London Archaeology uh, about uh, medieval pottery. So you'll have a chance to see that video uh, coming up again next month. Um, beyond that, you know, we're uh, just doing uh, going out to kind of various uh, medieval sites around London, um, doing some filming uh, here and there, and hopefully we'll be bringing you um, some good little videos and a lot of new photos. So. A lot of photos, a lot of write-ups, yeah. um, and then of course, um, you, Peter flies back to Toronto next week mm -hmm. or and um, this week, yeah. and then he'll be uh, in Calvin's. You sadly, I won't be there this year because I'm in London and. It's it's uh, we're, it's something that's out of reach, but maybe we're, next, next yeah, we're May. still figuring it out. Um, that London, or and also uh, have you go to Leeds as well. Yeah. Um, so those kind of conferences. Um, in the meantime, you know, like I think we're having a lot of fun out we're here, a and great time. Uh, and I hope you're enjoying. If you're following us on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or, or Pinterest, or Pinterest or Tumblr, or, places or, or our email, or you can also subscribe to our weekly emails. So yes. that's the. Um, Thanks for humoring us, and uh, welcome to London, thank my, you. my new home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and thank you to, I just want to say a big thanks to everybody in London, England, who's been uh, really nice and kind and made this Canadian expat feel very, very welcome and at home here. So thank you, and we'll talk to you again.